13 this week. KRCG 13 live at 6 starts right now. Live from across mid-Missouri, this is KRCG 13 live at 6. Good evening. Columbia's Roots and Blues and Barbecue Festival kicks off tomorrow in a new location. The event has moved from the downtown area to Stevens Lake Park at the corner of Broadway and Old Highway 63. KRCG 13's Mark Slavitt looks into what other changes festival goers can expect. Setup crews are rolling along as they prepare for Columbia's biggest music festival of the year in a new spot. Columbia police officers are also getting ready for traffic and parking problems near Stevens Lake Park. So everyone paying attention with a lot of pedestrian traffic in the area, a lot of potential to have some traffic backup, so I just encourage everyone to pay attention and be alert. Uh, you know, ideal situation would be to, you know, limit the traffic area as much as possible. Columbia police will turn nearby sections of Walnut Street and Old Highway 63 into one-way streets to help control traffic flow. The only parking available at this year's festival will be a few handicapped spots because of the new location. Festival organizers encourage all festival goers to use the festival shuttle. For $5, you can use shuttles from all five parking garages in downtown Columbia throughout the entire festival. We have shuttles running every seven minutes to pick you up and bring you to the park, and those shuttles run all day long before and after the festival, so we'll get you home uh, safe. Besides the new location, this year's festival changes include the fourth largest traveling stage in the nation and a Ferris wheel. One thing that hasn't changed is the music and barbecue. Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13, Columbia. The festival begins tomorrow at 5.15 p.m. It will end Sunday night. And now, your KRCG 13 Storm Vision first weather. And the weather for Roots and Blues this weekend looking fantastic. By uh, Friday evening, we'll see clouds begin to clear and the weekend looking nice. Right now, we are uh, live in Eugene. We're uh, at the Kimker household out here. And again, lots of people out here. We've got some pasta ready and you guys are enjoying the food. You, you guys don't have plates. What are you doing? You don't have plates, but well, she's over here chanting, like, give me food, give me food over here. She's pounding her fists on the table. Uh, well, the weather here so, so far has been very cooperative. There are a, uh, a couple storms that are moving into extreme northwest Missouri, and some of those storms are severe. In fact, you can see that long line of showers stretching across, uh, oh, from basically about Maryville, Missouri, down to about Kansas City, and uh, mid-Missouri right now is pretty much clear. That is a severe thunderstorm watch. It's in effect for that line until 8 o'clock tonight. Right now, no active warnings in the state of Missouri, so some good news, but I do think when those storms roll through here late tonight, we could get some gusty winds out of those. Temperatures right now still very warm. We're in the 80s, upper 80s for Columbia, Jefferson City, and the lake. And we'll continue to see a warm night as well with the uh, clouds increasing, showers and thunderstorms. We'll find morning temperatures right around 70 degrees. We'll see some early rain on your Friday, but I think Friday afternoon will be dry. We'll talk more detail on the extended forecast here in a few minutes. Thank you, Zach. New U.S. Census data reveals Mer Missouri is just one of two states where the median incomes fell between 2011 and 2012. Median household income in the Show Me State was 45,321 last year, a 1.6% decline from the previous year. Nationally, the median income for U.S. households in 2012 just over 51,000. That figure remained flat after two previous annual declines. The Census Bureau also reported a statewide wide poverty rate of 11.7%, but for single mothers with dependent children, the poverty level hovers around 44%. Statewide, nearly 270,000 of the 1.5 million families who participated in the annual American Community Survey reported household incomes under 25,000. The Jefferson City Council today hosted the second of three public hearings for a proposed conference center. Those voicing their support for the project told council members which of the two proposed locations they preferred. Some said a downtown conference center would bolster the main attractions in Jefferson City, the Capitol, and downtown businesses. Those who prefer to see the conference center built near the Capitol Mall say that location could draw more big-name retailers and has better future potential. As economic development zones in the city go, I think the West End provides an awful lot of future growth and future potential over the next five to ten years. 
But not everyone supports the plans for a conference center. The newly formed Citizens Against Convention Center Committee wants voters to decide whether the city will build the facility. To hear more from them, head to our website. It's connectmidmissouri.com. Missouri Task Force One is still on the job getting results in Colorado. Here are the latest pictures from their Facebook page. 80 members of the search and rescue team left their base up operations in Loveland, Colorado this morning to begin new assignments. Rescue teams are using GPS tracking to determine where they still need to search in the Big Thompson Canyon region. There is still no firm date as to when they might return home. A contractor suffered burns in a fire that destroyed a home in northern Boone County. Boone County firefighters say half of the home on Highway YY was engulfed in flames when they arrived, so they fought the fire from the outside. Investigators say the contractor was using an acetone-based floor stripper when a spark accidentally ignited the chemical. The owners of the home told authorities the contractor was wearing shorts. He suffered burns over his entire body. They were working in a bathroom, and so there could have been some acetone buildup in a hidden space or within that bathroom itself. And so, unfortunately, a spark came from somewhere. Not, not sure what that spark um, came from, but, but we believe that that is what has happened. The victim was taken to a Columbia hospital. No word on his condition tonight. The investigators say the home is a total loss, but have yet to come up with a dollar amount for the damage. Stormy weather is in the forecast. As Zach Paul has the forecast and the food next on KRCG 13 Live at 6. You're watching KRCG 13 Live at 6 with Kermit Miller, Teresa Snow, Zach Paul with your Storm Vision forecast, and Rod Smith with sports. This is your source for news and information in Mid-Missouri. KRCG 13 Live at 6. The way I keep connected has changed forever. Thanks to the new KRCG mobile app, getting news, weather, sports, and deals from my favorite spots has never been easier. Download now for Android and iPhone. The best in Missouri is in the palm of my hand. At Tennyson's Furniture, we're a locally owned furniture store. We sell it right off the floor. The things that have made him successful are the same values that have made the bank successful over the years. If we need to bring in the newest thing, the latest thing, rather than burn up our working capital. We always have Hawthorne Bank here that can back us up. He wants to see the store continue to succeed, and we do too, and we're just proud to be a part of that. It's easy. If we need something, they're there. Is your truck not getting the job done? Maybe you should fire it. And get a rugged Toyota Tacoma or dependable Toyota Tundra. In fact, the Toyota Tacoma is the most awarded pickup ever, according to IntelliChoice. And Tundra Crew Max was named the best overall value of the year for the last three years in a row. There's also this. Lease a new Tundra double cab with an iForce V8 four-wheel drive for $269 a month. Plus, every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care. Toyota, let's go places. Experience and trust, that's the foundation of Mark's Mobile Glass. Mark started in 1993 and he still puts one thing first, his customers. I started this business out of my truck 20 years ago. I just wanted to find a quality glass at a good price for the people in my community. My customers wanted it done right. They wanted someone they could trust. When someone calls Mark's Mobile Glass, we want them to feel confident that we'll be there and we will stand behind our work. After 20 years, one thing hasn't changed. That's our commitment to you. Mark's Mobile Glass, we come to you. It's good to be first. So I know I can get a car loan at First Financial, but what else can I get? Well, let me show you. How about an RV for a family vacation or a weekend getaway? How about a new ATV? Sweet! Yes! No. Or a new boat? First Financial Credit Union offers loans for just about any type of vehicle. First Financial Credit Union, it's good to be first. When you want new wheels, we've got great deals. Test drive this new Jeep Compass Sport or this new Dodge Journey SXT during the Jeep Celebration event. Spielers, no hassles, just great deals. You are the one! It is a special responsibility for us who are third generation to continue as a successful bank and one that hasn't lost touch with the nine communities that we serve. McMichael Realty is expanding into Jefferson City. We're the one, and we want to be your realtor. And now, 
your KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast with Zach Paul. Well, today the Backyard Barbecue evening tonight. We are in Eugene. The uh, gorgeous weather here so far and a uh, very nice patio. We're at the home of the Kimkers out here and I have Nancy with me. And uh, Nancy, we've, we've sort of gone through your family a little bit earlier, but why don't you go through and tell everybody uh, at home who's here with us tonight? Well, oh gosh, we've got my uh, niece, uh, Gina, and my, grand, uh, my uh, great nephew, Gus, and there's Derek. There, Derek Primer, my, my uh, nephew. This is my, uh, oh, I can forget who that is. It's my sister. <laughs> my beautiful sister, Donna. This is my husband, Bob. And there is, uh, this is uh, Rob's beautiful uh, gal, Megan. macaroni, <laughs> Megan. And there is, uh, there's my, uh, my son, Joshua. And there's my daughter, Rachel. There's my grandson, Tanner. My granddaughter, Reagan. And there's our good friend Rob. Well, very good. And I hear that there's a special occasion happening here today yeah, as well. Well, tell everybody about that. Yeah, an anniversary. And, and that big spender, Derek <laughs> Pringer, has brought his beautiful bride of four years, Gina, <laughs> here for their anniversary. It's their fourth year anniversary. Well, congratulations. Isn't that fabulous? Guys, congratulations. Yay! Yeah. Big spender right there. I yeah. like it. I like it. Diamond, G Diamond Rock <laughs> Pringer. There he is. I like it. Well, why don't you uh, let everybody know what the almanac was today? What was the high temperature today? Uh, high temperature was uh, 2,000. Well, the high temperature today was 87. It seemed hotter, though, but it was 87. Actually, let's take that back. Say that one more time. I forgot to tell you that that changed. Oh, it changes. It's 89 yeah, it's now. 89, 89, now. 89 yeah. now. Yeah, you fooled me. It's 89. <laughs> uh, and the low was 71 today. Uh, and there was a trace of rain. Didn't seem like it here. It was beautiful all day, but there was a trace of rain somewhere in the area. Yep, yep. Uh, and uh, record low today was, uh, record low in 2000 was uh, 94. Uh, record uh, record high, excuse me, was 2,094. And uh, their record low was in 1991. It was 35. Very cold. Yes. I'm not ready for those. I'm still liking the weather we have here this evening, but no, looking forward to some storms to come through tonight. I think it might help me sleep. What about you? I think so, too. That would be nice. Sounds good. Nancy, nice. thank you very much. Congratulations on winning. And, uh, yeah, big round of applause. The, uh, the weather out here has been gorgeous. Again, it was a warm afternoon. We did make it up to 89 now, but there are some showers and thunderstorms in the area. Temperature have cooled off a little bit. Again, 89. Right now, we're looking at the mid-80s. Boonville's 86. Lynn right now, 86. Dixon also there. Cooler for Fulton. You're at 83. Here's what it looks like across the region. A very obvious where our cold front is at. Stretches across Iowa, northwest Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, and back into north Texas. That's going to bring some showers and thunderstorms here with it later tonight. Possibly even a little bit of damaging winds. There is a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect for extreme northwest Missouri right now. That goes until 8 o'clock. No active warnings in Missouri, so some good news, but I do think when those storms roll through here, we could see uh, some gusty winds, maybe even a little bit of damaging winds. The hour-by-hour hour forecast overnight brings that rain through uh, between now and about midday tomorrow. I think by early uh, tomorrow morning, we could see some of the heavier rain showers, but by late morning, by midday, out of here, clouds will begin to clear Friday evening as we get into the weekend. A big area of high pressure begins to settle in, and that'll bring in some cooler temperatures and very pleasant weather as we get towards the rest of your weekend. So very nice there. As we look at temperatures tomorrow morning, or rain showers, possibly rain showers, we are looking at maybe about a half inch total across the entire area. But it will be a warm start. Look at temperatures tomorrow morning. Some of you will start off in the low to mid 70s. Others, I think, could see the upper 60s. But by the afternoon, we'll rebound into the 70s, and I think we'll see some mid to upper 70s by late tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon. Here's a seven-day forecast. Looks a little bit like this. Again, 70 in the morning, 77 for the afternoon. Rain showers out of there by football Friday night. Cool for the weekend, mid-70s. Temperatures will return to 80s next week. For the lake area, very similar. Down to 70 degrees tomorrow morning, 76 for your afternoon. Comfortable in the mid-70s for the weekend. And again, 80s returning next week. Your weather hot shot tonight is from Tim Harlan. Took this shot out in Miller County. Got some of the uh, nice sunset with the uh, some of these sinking clouds there, what uh, looks like a little bit of Virgo, which is some moisture or rain that's evaporating before it makes it to the ground. Tim, thank you very much for that. It's a, a gorgeous evening. They've got pasta on their plate, still some caramel apples sitting around, and we're going to hear a little bit more about uh, the beef coming up here in a few minutes. Kermit, Teresa, back to you. All right, Zach, thank you. Now, if we've made you hungry for barbecue, you still have time tonight to make it to the 22nd annual Jefferson City Fire Department bar barbecue. That dinner goes until 7 p.m. at Memorial Park. Tickets are $10 for adults, 6 for kids.
If you can't make it tonight, you can take part in the department's second annual Hotter in Hell 5K run. That's on Saturday. It begins at 9 a.m. at the fire department's training facility on Hyde Park Road. Stop, don't top. Call or click for more information. If you got a tree where the people to see, These fans got a sneak preview of the new 15th episode thriller, Hostages. All the right there. It was awesome. Edge of your seat. Action pack. It hooked me right away. Ah! Wow. I didn't expect that. Separate them. No! It's got Dylan McDermott, Tony Collette. Dead! The suspense of it. You have to watch the show. It's amazing. Woo! See it for yourself. Series premieres CBS This Monday. Check out the end of summer specials at Weeby Tannen. Use any of our 13 beds and it's only $2. Any bed, $2. Lay down, stand up, hydro massage and red light therapy. Spray tans, 15 and mobile tans, only 20. Now through the end of October at Weeby Tannen in Eastland Plaza. It's been said you have to cross an ocean to find a vehicle with safety, reliability, and quality. The bar may have been set over there. But when it comes to raising it, we'll take it from here. The awarded Chrysler lineup. And now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months on the 2013 Chrysler Town & Country. The place to be for good food, great fun, fabulous entertainment, and private or holiday parties. The food is to die for, and so is our monthly murder mystery series now through December. Book your reservations today. We hope to see you at the Hill. Trucks, trucks, and more trucks during the Built Ford Tough Sales Event at Joe Mockin's Capital City Ford Lincoln. Now's the time to buy the new F-Series you've been wanting. Don't wait. Hurry in for total savings of over $10,000 on a new 2013 Ford F-150. And your purchase now comes with complimentary 5-year, 100,000-mile powertrain care. Get a no-charge bedliner, too, only at Joe Mockin's Capital City Ford Lincoln. 807 Southwest Boulevard, 24-7, Mockins.com. Check out the end of summer specials at Weeby Tannen. Use any of our 13 beds and it's only $2. Any bed, $2. Lay down, stand up, hydro massage and red light therapy. Spray tans, 15 and mobile tans, only 20. Now through the end of October at Weeby Tannen in Eastland Plaza. A unique find in Northeast Missouri has opened up the forgotten life of a talented woman. And it could give her life's work the chance to be appreciated once again. KRCG sister station KHQA in Quincy, Illinois has supplied us with the video and the information on the curious story of Virginia Turpening. Lewiston, Missouri resident Virginia Shoup Turpening died six years ago. For years, she had lived in this trailer, now overgrown with weeds. Hardly newsworthy, but what many residents of Lewiston did not know was that inside that home on wheels was not only the life story of a once famous artist, but a rare connection to the history of their community and to the state of Missouri. Virginia Shoup was born in 1917. Her father, Floyd Shoup, was a state representative. Her mother, Bertha, was a local historian who passed down her love of art to her daughter. Eventually, Virginia's work would turn up in galleries across the country and overseas in England and Italy. Lewiston resident Jason Geisendorfer bought the trailer and its contents from Virginia's daughter a few months ago. We walked inside when she showed me everything and I noticed that there was a I'm gonna guess probably 50 to 75 paintings. I started looking at the paintings after I purchased the place and I thought the paintings were too good to destroy so I started doing some investigation. The bus that has the bo uh, broken windows, uh, there was probably over 200 oil paintings that was in that bus. Rumors about the find reached another Jason, realty auctioneer Jason Wallingford. Virginia's amazing talent interested him. There's some phenomenal artwork in there. Um, you know, if you go out and look up Virginia Turpening, you're not going to find much on her. But when you look at the work, you can tell she was a very talented artist. And, um, you know, I want to be the one that puts Virginia Turpening out there on the spotlight. 
Now, while her paintings were at one time shown alongside those of artists named Warhol and Wyeth, Virginia Turpening never sold any of her work. Her dream was to open her own gallery one day. Sadly, it's a dream that never came true. So Jason Wallingford will auction off Virginia's entire collection to a gallery online. His website is iauctionandrealty.com. He's taking sealed bids through October 7th. Rod Smith is next with sports live from the Backyard Barbecue. Call it a tailgate for the Kansas City Chiefs game tonight against the Eagles. Tonight, Dave's got Tina Fey. I gotta get out of the house. I have not combed my hair since the Golden Globes. Plus, the top ten and survival tips for college freshmen tonight. Simmons Savings now at the Mattress Store. For a limited time, get introductory savings on Simmons Beautyrest Bedding Queen Mattresses from $2.99. Gains just $4.99. For the lowest prices on 65 in stock name brand beds, it's the Mattress Store in Fulton. It's tailgate time at Camping World of Mid-Missouri. And we're kicking off the season with unprecedented discounts. Score a huge savings on our entire inventory. New travel trailers for only $99 per month. New motorhomes starting at only $349 per month. Plus, buy an RV from Camping World and gain access to our Good Sam Elite loyalty program. Offering incentives valued at over $2,000. Don't miss the tailgate kickoff event. Only at Camping World of Mid-Missouri. We have everything you'll ever need at Camping World. On average, a stroke occurs every 40 seconds. Within four minutes, brain tissue dies. Immediate care is critical. Stroke survival starts at Capital Region Medical Center. And when more complex care is needed, Capital Region proudly partners with NU Healthcare. When symptoms of a stroke start, you simply don't have time to go anywhere else. Capital Region Medical Center, better every day. Truck Month is on at Joe Mockin's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Save up to $15,000 on a new Ram truck, Motor Trends Truck of the Year, up to fifteen dollars or choose 0% financing for 72 months, plus rebates up to $2,000. Don't settle for a used truck. See our prices on new at the area's new number one volume Chrysler dealer. Joe Mockin's Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, 1310 Vandiver, JoeMockin'sChrysler.com. At the California Veterinary Clinic, we are a full-service general practice, treating pets, cattle, horses, sheep, and goats. Our doctors and professional staff will take care of all your animals' health care needs. Experience the best care and value guarantee at the CVC, California Veterinary Clinic. Simmons Savings now at the Mattress Store. For a limited time, get introductory savings on Simmons Beautyrest Bedding Queen Mattresses from $2.99. Gains just $4.99. For the lowest prices on 65 in-stock name brand beds, it's the Mattress Store in Fulton. Hi, I'm Stephanie Johnson with Boys and Girls Club. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. The Mizzou Football Preview is brought to you by Lutz's Barbecue, the best in catering and tailgating. Lutz's Barbecue in Jefferson City and Columbia. Smoking delicious. <laughs> Welcome back to our Backyard Barbecue here at the Kempkers in Eugene. And you know what? It's a football Thursday night. Also, the Chiefs playing in the NFL tonight at Philadelphia. That's a very interesting matchup as Andy Reid heads back to Philly where he coached for 14 years. We'll see what kind of reception he gets. You know those fans in Philadelphia? They booed Santa Claus a few years ago, so we never know exactly what's going to happen tonight in the city of brotherly love. Big football game tonight, and it's a big barbecue here, and our favorite chef, Chef Riley from your Jefferson City hy V is with us, and you've been working hard. Looks like some good steaks tonight. Oh, absolutely. A little chuck steak's been marinating all day long to tenderize them. Got some bread bowls with a beef stew on the inside. Was this tricky, this uh, this stew here? This entire day has been <laughs> tricky. This has all been very tricky dish on the grill so yeah but of course if you want the recipes you can go to our websites or come in and visit you at Jeff City High V absolutely all right chef Riley great job tonight we're gonna let the beef council industry council we've got Beth and Mark here if you guys want to take and deliver these to our Kempker friends over here and as I continue on with sports we'll let you know that uh, it's another good reason to tailgate tomorrow our first Central Bank KRCG football Friday night tailgate will be live at Adkins Stadium 5 and 6 where Helias plays host to Hickman we'll have free t-shirts and hot dogs and more then on Saturday the Missouri Tigers play on the road at Indiana Tonight's Tiger Preview is brought to you by Burl Lutz and Lutz's Barbecue, helping with all your tailgating needs around Jefferson City and Columbia. Don't forget the chips. And here is Tony Mullen with the Tiger Report. 
the earlier than usual bye week may come in handy for the Mizzou defense. That unit figures to have its hands full on Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited as a corner. It kind of takes me back to playing in the Big 12, the way they really like to throw the ball, so it's going to be fun. They're fast-paced, they're spread, they have a lot of good athletes, a uh, big offensive line, but uh, I think we'll be ready for it. The Tigers will face an Indiana attack that averages 50 points and more than 570 yards. The Hoosiers' fast-paced offense was installed by head coach Kevin Wilson, a former offensive coordinator at Oklahoma. It's obvious this is his offense, but it's his offense, the same thing he ran at Oklahoma, and he was very, very successful doing it, he's successful there. And uh, they're one of the first teams, I think, to, you know, to play the fastball type offenses um, on a consistent basis, and, and they would kind of get it in and out of it, but they, they create a lot of problems for you. Well, I hope they block well. Uh, this is going to this is going to create a lot more uh, opportunities for us to get sacks, get back there in the backfield and create habit. The Tigers will also have a chance to put up some big numbers. Mizzou averages 48 points a game and will face an Indiana D that ranks 10th in the Big Ten in points allowed. Tony Mullen, KRCG 13 Sports, Columbia. And some afternoon baseball for the Cardinals in Colorado. Redbirds started the day two games ahead of the Pirates in the Central Division. Pittsburgh won earlier this afternoon. And it was the Cardinals trailing 4-0 to the Rockies early. Matt Holliday singles in the tying run. It was a 4-4 game. They would trade runs in the eighth and ninth. This Todd Helton home run in the ninth made it 6-6, and that's where it stands now. They are still playing in the sixth inning. Both teams have combined for 29 hits. Again, we're back at the barbecue, and I've got Derek Pringer here. Just happens to be the pigskin picks winner from this week. Derek, we didn't plan this out, but out of 600 entries, you got the NFL picks right. Nice job. Thank you. And how's the steak? Oh, real good. Real good. <laughs> Any tips for anybody else in picking uh, winners in the NFL in our pigskin picks? I just got lucky. Watch a little bit of football and know a little bit, but just got lucky, I guess. All right, way to go, Derek Pringer, and uh, thanks to all the Kempkers. How's the beef, you guys? It's good. It's all right, enjoying the backyard, backyard barbecue. We've got a lot of sports for you tonight at 10. We'll see you then. Corwin Honda, Hyundai, and Nissan offering over 1,000 vehicles at CorwinJeffCity.com. Cars, trucks, SUVs, all online. Shop 24-7 at CorwinJeffCity.com. So, what does a small liberal arts college do when the world changes and starts spinning at a faster pace? At William Woods University, we change with it. With the addition of unique majors, study abroad opportunities, evening programs, graduate degrees, doctoral programs, and a learn in your pajamas option known as our online degrees. But no matter how fast your world turns, the original mission of William Woods to deliver a valuable, personalized education lives on. At William Woods University, we have something for everyone. I battled cancer twice in the last 10 years. I had to fight for my life. I survived because I'm a strong person, and I had Boone Hospital by my side. Now I can watch my grandkids grow up. That's something worth fighting for. We're building the Stewart Cancer Center at Boone Hospital because all of us are worth fighting for. are everywhere at Joe Mockins Volkswagen of Columbia. Over 50 new 2013 Volkswagen Beetle cars in stock with prices slashed. Get 0% for 72 months or lease a new 2013 Beetle 2.5L for as low as $199 a month with zero down or go top down. A new 2013 Beetle Convertible 2.5L for $259 a month. They're everywhere at Joe Mockins Volkswagen, 1200 Vanover Drive and 24-7 JoeMockinsVW.com. Well, we're back at wrapping up our backyard barbecue for the week out in Eugene with the Kimker family. Guys, how's the food taste? Everybody's loving it. Everybody's got a plate. Well, some of them are already down to a half a plate full. I see this. Some of those guys are really enjoying the food. 
Uh, weather has turned out cooperative. Maybe you got a barbecue of your own going on in your backyard. Weather right now, not bad. That's going to change later tonight. Showers and thunderstorms will roll into the area. I think the uh, big threat of that will happen after 10 o'clock tonight through the early morning tomorrow. And we'll start our day off with temperatures right around 70 degrees. Some of the stronger storms, I think, could bring some damaging winds tonight. But uh, for the most part, I mean, severe weather is not anticipated. As we get into the weekend, at least into your Friday afternoon, Friday afternoon, I think we'll start to see the rain taper off. We'll see some sunshine possibly late in the day. And the weekend is looking very good with temperatures in the 70s. If you're going out for football Friday night tomorrow, look, checking out some local high school football, I think the games will be dry. Have a wonderful evening. Enjoy the weekend. The forecast is looking great. Kermit, Teresa, back to you. All right, Zach, thank you. That's it for us. We'll see you back here at 10. Enjoy your evening. Good night. Miley's ex making out with a new girl. We have the photos. Is Miley mad that Liam is stealing the spotlight? I'm Nancy O'Dell. And I'm Rob Marciano. I want to remember, this is what separates me from everybody else. A new look inside Miley's private world with Britney as Liam gets caught in a steamy kiss. The intimate moments, his new girl's super skinny body. In tonight's top story, did Miley's hunger for fame drive them apart? I was, like, born to become who I am, like, right now. Zac Efron's drug relapse? Did he go through rehab twice? Plus... You are the music, yeah. What his high school musical co-star is telling us. Then, Justin Timberlake living large in Vegas, his Aunt Jane in jail. Could she be behind bars for life? Kate Gosselin's ex tending bar, serving supper. I got you some sides here, too. Now, is he a deadbeat dad? I don't pay child support anymore. Why is his ex suing him? Did you hack into Kate's computer? The Emmy's worst red carpet fashion. A big blue bomb. Joan Rivers' Christmas wreath. Sky high hair. And who came dressed like a dominatrix? Plus, Rebel Wilson's full-figured photo shoot. Only E.T. is allowed. Making light of her weight. Modeling is really hard. You have to yeah. shave. Now. Entertainment Tonight, the worldwide leader in entertainment news. Is Miley mad as her...